Hello guys, welcome to the Angling Army YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a predator rig that I like to use when I'm pike and perch fishing. Now, I call it a predator rig because it probably is suitable for all types of predator fishing, depending on where you're from and what kind of predators you're fishing for, but uh, I've used this for pike, perch, congers, uh, I've used it for sea fishing for with, with mono for normal fish, and it, it's worked pretty well every single time I've used it really. And I've not seen anything like it before, basically me and my brother we always try and change things and adapt things and, and this is what we've come up with. So this is basically what you're going to need unless you tie your traces yourself. If you buy the pre-made traces then you're going to need some snippers. Um, I've got some PVA uh, zip ties here that you don't really need but I'm going to show you why I use them in a little while. A long baiting needle. Your trebles, of course, or your hooks of choice. Some quick change swivels or speed links. Your trace, of course, and then your bait. This is an angling army fish. <laughs> there you go. It's just to show you basically how I do it. And I've not got any fish with me, so I'm going to have to improvise. Now, what you do is usually on a pre made rig. Uh, trace, you've got swivels and clips. I get my snips, don't know if you can see that. Get your swivel, watch the loop of the trace, get your swivel and pop it off. Do it on both sides. Don't know if you'll be able to see it that way, I'll try this way. So, watch the loop again on the other side, make sure it's on just your swivel, pop it off. So there you go, that's the clips done. And then what I like to do is you can do this, you can put your hook on several different ways. You can use a, another quick link, another quick change swivel, but one way I like to do it is push the loop of the trace through the treble and then go over each hook of the treble. So you can, you can just go over two and it sit on the top like that. But I, if you, if you can, if there's enough room to do so, I like to go over all three. See if I can show you here. So is that done? Yeah, that's done. So that, that then can slide all the way down the hook. Locking on. So there you go. That's the uh, hook properly on the trace, and that ain't going anywhere. Then what you want to do with the other side of the trace is basically get your fish and your baiting needle and you can either go through the back end of the fish or the front end of the fish until the baiting needle comes out on the other side and you want to keep it in the center as much as you can or if you've if you've got your proper fish you want to be going along a hard part of it like the bone the backbone wherever you feel is, is best really so I'm just gonna just for this, for this video I'm just going to go through the back end keeping it in the middle and there you go you can see the bait needles come out on the other side <coughs> then grab your loop with the bait needle slide your bait onto the trace there we go so you can see the hooks pulling up there and then eventually pulling in. Now the beauty of this, obviously if you've got a real fish it's going to have a lot slimmer of a nose meaning the hooks are not all going to be hidden away in the fish. But one other thing I like to do, and I've not got one here at the moment, is get a second hook and not a treble, just a normal hook and just get it in the back of the tail leaving the trebles if the fish swallows the f swallows it from the from the front end first you've got the trebles that can get onto it like a spinner almost and if it grabs it from behind then you've got the hook will rip through the tail and hook onto the fish so there you go so that keeps it on basically the fish if, if it's just like that can move up and down 
but it can't come off. The only way it can come off is if the fish itself was to tear or rip or go really weak. You could even put a stopper bead onto the swivel there, onto the uh, treble, sorry, and have the fish stop on the bead, leaving it like that. So again, this is just something we test and try out ourselves, but it has worked for us. I've not been out fishing, for, well I went out fishing last Sunday but the weather was too bad so I didn't get to film much footage. We had 60 mile per hour winds and we was in a big open water and it was just ridiculous so unfortunately we didn't catch and we couldn't record anything. So there you go, so your quick link would now go onto that. Or your quick change shovel, whichever. It hooks on. And then that would hook on to your lead clip or line, whichever way you want to set your your rod up. So there you go, so that's it, that's the rig. Ready to go with your fish, presented very well. And then what I like to do is get one of these PVA zip ties, pull it off there, get it onto the fish, like the back end go into the zip tie you have to be careful if your hands are wet um, they can rip very easily and it just locks the fish on that little bit better so there's reducing any sliding or anything like that or movement causing your fish to tear so can't really see that properly but that is quite tight on there now and again it's presented very well and then the PVA zip tie will break down in the water or I have had it before where a pike took the bait before that's even melted but the good thing is pike don't really bother about stuff like that if they're hungry enough that is and if fish grabs onto, onto that now they are hooked now the zip ties there's a couple of different brands you can get it's Sol U ties that I've got from Godman and there is a website this is no way uh, am I promoting this at all it's just I'm just sharing with you guys as much as I can godman-angling.com now I got given these but I'll definitely be buying them again so I'm going to take a look myself but there you go that is pretty much it if you, if you want to hook your fish normally so let me just take this out if you was to hook your fish like that like you would normally with a double tra treble trace so one, one treble in the front, one treble in the back them zip ties in the middle still help an awful lot so it's, they're definitely worth having even for carping with the PVA bags just doing the top making it really easy for yourself so yeah they're good there you go guys that's the end of this video like I say, it might not work for you, but it has worked for me, which is why I will share. Um, and I hope you did enjoy the video. If you, if you did, leave a like rating because it helps other people see the video. And the more, the merrier. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. I'll see you in a, another video soon.